One of the exciting places to see what happened to the apostles, the original followers of Jesus, as they go on and be leaders in the church, is at Hierapolis. High up on the cliff, in a place not visited by many people, are just scattered old stones of a martyrian. This was erected after the 330s, after the church had become strong, but that's not what was here originally. Originally, those old stones witnessed the crucifixion of Philip. Philip died about the year 80. He was crucified, and looking down from where he was, he could see the Plutonian, the, the place of the god Hades. I wonder what he thought. You know, Philip was one of the disciples from Bethsaida, and it's interesting to me that he's not only one of the people that is early on to adopt Jesus, uh, Philip found Nathanael and said to him, we found the, uh, the, the one that Moses promised, and Nathanael said, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip is in the list in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. He's one of the 12, and he dies at Hierapolis, a horrible death. Now here's what's interesting. Hierapolis means holy city. It is a pagan central worship site. That's what the city was for. So what's Philip doing there? What's a kid from Bethsaida, a kosher kid, doing in this pagan central? Years after, as a 70-some-year-old man, having been transformed by his witness with Jesus and watching Jesus, he went into a place like Hierapolis, and there he preached the gospel. There was a Pythian spirit. There were snakes in some of the temples. And on one occasion, early church history tells us that he stomped on one of those snakes, killing him, and said, this is not your God. Jesus Christ is risen. Jesus Christ sits with the Father. They crucified him for his testimony. They killed him. But a few hundred years later, the church had turned the world upside down and now a martyrian stands in the place where he once was crucified. Not far away is the burial place that was recently discovered, the burial place of Philip, one of the original 12, one of those who saw Jesus walk with Jesus and then testified of Jesus even at the expense of his own life.